Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Pam Straker, and I'm the Director of Operations for the Brooklyn Health Disparity Center, and I'd like to welcome you this morning. I am so proud of you. You made it through the traffic, the trains that are not running, et cetera, and it is Saturday morning, so welcome to you. Um, this is a conference that we're doing in collaboration with Health First. Uh, it's Brooklyn Health Disparity Center, Health First, SUNY Downstate Medical Center, and yesterday we had the pleasure of being joined by Howard University and Mel Med, oh boy, Medinova. Um, and you will see me take my glasses on and off because I refuse to accept that I need them. I'm putting them on. <laughs> um, I'd also like to let you know that um, we're pleased to announce that Health First has indicated that they will support your CME credits. Um, so if you plan on claiming CME, please keep the receipts that you use to pay, right? And we will make sure that they get, you get reimbursed. Has everybody got that? Is that understood? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, this is Actually, we have just a wonderful opportunity. Um, you will hear from Dr. Salafu about our keynote speaker, Dr. Leviste, um, who is stuck in the morass right now, but we'll get here shortly. Um, and Dr. Leviste actually did our uh, conference in 2014. Um, and so we're really pleased to have him back. And we have to announce more than once, that our dean of the School of Public Health um, was very sorry. He could not be here this morning, but he ran into Dr. Levis at a, a meeting and wanted to make sure that we let you know and Dr. Levis know that he is very pleased that he's presenting here at Downstate. Um, I am really happy also to let you know about um, the leader I'm about to introduce and that is Dr. Moro Salafu. Um, so I work with Dr. Moro Salafu, and I've purchased roller skates <laughs> so that I can keep up with him. Um, he really has been um, in conjunction with the partners we have, which include um, Dr. Marilyn Fraser, who is has a flat tire, but will be here shortly. Um, but he and Dr. Marilyn Fraser have really kept Brooklyn Health Disparity Center going. Um, they are wholly responsible. And, and Dr. Salafu does speaking all the while, everywhere. Um, and so I'd like to refer to the table all the way to my right, which includes um, some collabor collaborators we have from Buffalo. Um, so Dr. Salafu presented in Buffalo in, 2000, in summer this past summer, August 2015, 2019, see, I'm, I'm running out of steam, 2019, and our Buffalo collaborators are here. So I really welcome you. Um, this is Dr. Tim Murphy, and Dr. Murphy traveled here last night to be here today. So I'm, I'm really thankful that you joined us. He is from the University of Buffalo. I'd like to introduce Ms. Mercer, and she is from, you're going to say, your, uh, the in Buffalo, okay, so the DISRIP in Buffalo. We also have Pastor Pointer, who has also joined us from Buffalo. And so it's really important <laughs> that you know that how hard the team works to try to get the discussion of health disparities out into the community to share it with our fellow um, professional persons, and we are happy to share it with you today. Um, but now that I've talked on and on, Dr. Salafu is the director of medicine here, all right? And he's the chair of medicine, and he's a professor in the Department of Medicine here. I, you, all of the, um, the bios for everyone are in the back of your brochures, so I will not do that to you. But I will tell you that Dr. Salafu has a long list of accomplishments, 
And so, again, my, my roller skates are with me, and um, I'm proud to present him to you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Oh, very nice. Wow, we did it in one, uh, one go. Anyway, uh, on behalf of the president, um, uh, Dr. Wayne Riley, and the dean of the College of Medicine, Dr. Uh, Lucchese, I'd like to welcome all of you to SUNY Downstate, uh, all of you who have come uh, from far away, like from Buffalo, I'd like to welcome you, uh, those from uh, the city, uh, Brooklyn, uh, I'd like to welcome you as well. We are home people, but I uh, have to welcome you as well. I, I think this is the first of a series of very, very um, collaborative and very um, academic uh, but yet translational to the community of conferences that we are going to be holding between these two uh, these uh, bodies. That is the Brooklyn Health Disparity Center, the um, uh, Health First Organization, uh, and SUNY Downstate uh, in the years to come. Uh, what we are trying to do basically is to bring partnerships, all those people who are interested in the conversation in health disparities. It's a big issue. Why is it that, you know, uh, let's say Caucasian men live 81 years old? life expectancy, and black people are living 75 years. That is really the main conversation. Why is that disparity? Now you can break that down to the various components, diabetes, hypertension, and hyperlipidemia. Oh, and, and you can break it down to various diseases that contribute to the, uh, to the issue, or even the social determinants of health. How are the housing conditions uh, contributing to all this stuff? Education, uh, health literacy, all that stuff. You can break that into various components, and we want to have collaboration that would actually bring the experts into the room to be able to tell us what the issues are, so that we can generate conversation and be able to do the research to answer those, those questions. Now, if we're able to answer those questions, and we can find formulas to answer those questions, then we will figure out a mechanism to implement those changes, right? Uh, so that is why we are having these, uh, these, these conferences. So I'm really proud that uh, the collaboration has started uh, with Health First. I'm really uh, very happy that you pushed for it. Uh, actually, she has to take credit for putting this uh, collaboration together. We do different conferences, but the collaboration, you have pushed it. And I really want to thank you for that, Dr. Bean. So uh, I welcome you next year and the following year and so on and so forth. We welcome ideas. If you, after the conference, if you think that you have a question, all right, this is not the end of the conference. We're going to have a lot of discussion. After this, if you feel that you have a question that can be answered, just email it to us. Every question is very important. We will sit down, we will deliberate on the questions, and we will figure out mechanism to do research on those questions, if they make sense, right? So, but we will have to get the questions first before we can go to that level. Uh, so I want everybody engaged in the process uh, to making that happen. So today, as our first conference, what are we going to do? We are going to have two sections. Uh, the first section is the morning. Um, our first speaker is going to be starting soon. And the second session uh, is going to be starting maybe around what? What time is the second session? Around 1 o'clock. There will be break in the middle. Uh, you have some time for, for lunch. Uh, during the lunch period, I want all of you to interact and have you know, discussions and see whether the topics make sense, approach the speakers, try to contribute. I particularly want to mention the second session because um, it is going to be focused on what we call population health. Everybody hears about the word population health. What does it mean? So I'd like to encourage everyone to stick around and listen to the people who have the expertise in population health so that we understand where we are going in healthcare. Uh, it's not just enough to provide the uh, medications and prescription, all that stuff, right? That doesn't really, you know, bring health. It probably could increase your, um, your, your disease control, but it's not the only thing that is important for your health in general. So we want to know how we can influence population health so that we are all a healthy population, not sick people looking for health, right? Sick people looking for health is different from a healthy population. So I think moving forward, the theme in general, in the United States, it's about population health. And there are countries that have done this really very well. European countries, northern European countries have done population health really very well. So we'll be learning uh, in that session about population health. So Dr. B. Thank 
Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm so excited to be here, bring you greetings from Health First, our CEO, Pat Wang, my chief clinical officer, Jay Sheckman, and the whole family at Health First. So happy that you have allowed us to be a part of this important, not only conference, but as you said, Dr. Salafu, our movement, this um, a series of conversations to move this discussion forward and to surface ideas and to bring uh, solutions to people who really count on us to, to do that kind of work. Um, and I think that our keynote speaker is just about ready to join us, so I will keep my remarks brief, and I just look forward to this entire day. Thank you for uh, being with us and looking forward to meeting all of you during our breaks. Thank you. Anyway, so um, again, uh, we have our keynote speaker, and then we have a morning section uh, focused on cardiovascular health, and then the afternoon section focused on population health. 